Hi guys, so today I'm going to introduce you guys to my new addition to the house, two Ocelot, they are siblings. Those guys are in a temporary tank because we just got them. So we're going to set up today a big tank because they like a 10 gallons for each Ocelot. And those guys are 8 months old. So that's my white one right here inside the log, hanging, just chill. He's so cute. I mean, I'm not sure if it's a boy or girl yet. And that's the little brother. He's holding himself on the branch right there, as you can see. And for now, because it's a temporary tank, so we got this, uh, thermometer over here to make sure the water is uh, always in the right temperature because they really hate hot water so it can kill your fish so it gotta be 60 that's the line you should be in between 55 and 62 to make sure the water is nice and cold and kept them healthy and out of stress and also they don't like the heat because of the temperature of the water so gotta be cold and you also try not to use the filter because the filter created the vibration on the water and also created some kind of heat so you stress them out very easily and you don't want to kill your fish so right now it's just a temporary tank with a thermometer over here which goes right down so it can kept eyes on the uh, water temperature and for now we give them some pellets and mealworms I mean uh, blood worms so I'm sorry so they love that they eat a lot so you kind of got to manage the amount you give it to them and since because they eat a lot they poop a lot so we gotta have to manage to clean the tank like a at least a choice a week so and they are very friendly and you can hand feed them so after a while you be nice to them and recognize the owner and they come to you so that's a little buddies right now one white and one like a gray ish so and I'm gonna change the tank I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it looks like in a little bit all right stay tuned
All right, guys. So now I have my albino one, like a whitish. And we decided not to do gravels because they do tend to eat, and the gravel is too big. They will have a hard time to digest and pass through, so they're gonna be sick, or unfortunately can't even die. So we decide to go with this uh, synthetic artificial material, which they love because they can walk over and have a nice grip. Then we have uh, the little tank with a sponge filter, which uh, add oxygen to the water and it's not big enough to create a vibration, so it's not gonna be upset. And we have uh, some decorations over here because they love to climb in the little tree tank and place to hide which the little brother might be in somewhere i created a gap over here which it, the brother probably is inside that somewhere and the reason we know when something is wrong we see it's all reddish pinkish when something is wrong they change the color to like a white and that's when you know that something's wrong with the water or the food so we have all the water test kit and we do that every two days to make sure that all the levels, nitrate, ammonia, and everything else is okay. And like I said before, they can be very well trained. So I'm gonna give them some uh, the blood warm. And you guys see it. So let's go there. So I have some blood worms over here. And look what they do. You see it? So the blood worms we give it just as a snacks and we love to put the pellets over here. And that's pretty much how we take it out ocelot fish. So um, so far the water has been pretty good. I just changed yesterday so it's a 59.5 which is pretty good. And we try to cap the lights off especially at night because they don't like to be um, let's say with a bright spot so we try to accommodate them the best we can and we gotta figure how we gonna do for the next fish tank because this one's already taken the entire window pretty much so we're gonna go to the next level but it's pretty much easy it's a very friendly fish and they are very cute so if you guys love my video please subscribe and stay tuned and I'm gonna keep you guys upgrade about my fish because right now they are probably uh, four and a half inches and they can grow to up to almost a feet like a 10 12 inches so those guys are only eight months old so so please subscribe and stay tuned and I'm gonna put in details how to take care of your ocelot fish and do the water test alright thanks for watching stay tuned